Hello, it's a lovely day in early summer. Frost is a long distance memory and that means I can start planting up my hanging baskets. Now this year I'm going to forget about the geraniums and the petunias. I'm going to plant an edible hanging basket and central to that is going to be a lovely big tomato plant. Now bush tomatoes make fantastic container plants for hanging baskets or for pots because they have a naturally cascading habit. This one is Tumbling Tom, a classic basket variety with lots and lots of little baby cherry tomatoes. Garden Pearl is a similar one. Or there's Red Alert, which is bred to crop really early in the year. What they all have in common is that they need a nice big basket. This one is 35 centimetres across, 14 inches, which is about a minimum. But before you do anything, you need to get your compost ready. I'm going to start with some water retaining gel. You don't need very much of this, just a scoop. So mix it up with your hands and every single one of those little granules will hold on to water and release it slowly during the time when the plants are growing. Now fill it up to just below the rim so that that gives you a little bit of room for planting and also watering and just make sure it's nice and even. So now it's time to get planting and the tomato of course takes pole position right in the middle. Very easy to plant, just make a little hollow with your fingers and pop it in. Don't be afraid to plant tomatoes deep because they do make extra roots from their stems which makes them into sturdier plants. Now these are basil seedlings that I sowed earlier this year. They make a fantastic companion for tomatoes because of course they go so well in the kitchen and they love a hanging basket. And then finally, just for a bit of extra colour, I'm going to add these French marigolds. Now these also make brilliant companions for tomato plants because not only are they beautifully colourful, they're also very highly scented and whitefly really hate that smell. So it keeps pests off your plants. Now there's just two final jobs. First of all, I need to add some slow release fertiliser. This is just to keep the whole thing going after the multipurpose has run out of nutrients. And last but not least, give the whole thing a really good water. There we go. Now water that every day and as soon as flowers start appearing on the tomato, add a little bit of liquid tomato feed to your watering can once a week. Then you'll have lovely crops all through the summer and a hanging basket that tastes as good as it looks.